guys welcome back to my channel I feel like it's been forever and I can't believe like even since before Christmas so I hope everyone had wonderful holidays Merry Christmas to everyone Happy New Year's um, I know I think it's been forever since my last video and I know part of the reason was COVID um, I just felt like I literally just sat home and like and then with like virtual learning that took a lot of me and just so much um, changes that it's been I would say chaotic um, but I'm hoping everyone's keeping safe and safe out there with everything that's going on um, and I'm excited to finally be back on camera and vlog um, especially today I think I'm super excited because I'm doing my first um, clothing haul um, I know I've done one for Eli before but I've never done one for myself so I'm super excited and not only I'm sorry I'm driving so it might be a little bumpy um, but not only is it a clothing haul but I think I'm gonna do like a try on haul as well um, and so I'm excited for this vlog um, I had to do a little quick run um, to Starbucks because <sighs> let's just say Starbucks can sometimes be my motivation <laughs> um, I don't know it's just like I treat myself with Starbucks and um, it's kind of what will sometimes get me to get up and ready because if not sometimes I just want to stay at home and not do much other than school for Eli and um, and clean and cook so um, today as you can see I finally got some makeup on I don't think I've done my makeup in quite a while so Starbucks will definitely get me out the house and um, on top of that I just haven't been drinking coffee much so I felt like today was the day I can treat myself and secretly it's my birthday as well so um, here I am making a video on my birthday who would have thought <laughs> alrighty guys so today I'm doing the Shein maternity line clothing haul slash try on so I'm excited because I have not announced yet that we are expecting and um, I am about four months in so I thought it was a good idea to start investing in maternity clothing and something I can start fitting and I did a little purchase and I'm excited to try this on because I didn't know Shein had a maternity line. So we'll see how these fit and how they look. All right, and um, this will be the first outfit I'll be trying on. Um, I did want to mention though, I'm due in July. So a lot of my outfits that I purchased are um, summery outfits just because it does get really hot here in El Paso as well as um, I feel like it's going to start warming up. So I got a lot of dresses um, and I just feel like with Eli's pregnancy I wore a lot of dresses too so it's just more comfortable. But this one's a little spaghetti dress and it has a little belt that wraps around. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on, as well as I'll be um, linking all the outfits that I purchased in the description box. If you guys are, are interested in any of these, you can find them on the description box. Alright you guys, so this is outfit number one. Um, it's just a little spaghetti strap dress. I like the color, it's like a rose kind of like a burnt rose color and has this little belt 
that you can remove if you don't feel like wearing it. And it's pretty decent length as well. Um, goes down to my knees there. And pretty comfortable, I feel like. Um, and for, if I remember correctly, I will check um, everything as well before I post, but um, all the sizes I ordered were size small, medium. So, fits pretty well. I think right now, I'm currently 126, 126 pounds. So, still got space to grow in this dress. It's pretty cute too. All right, we got outfit number two. This, I think, is more on the dressier up um, kind of dresses. Um, it's just off the shoulders kind of with the little attached sleeves. Um, or, and it's a little longer than the other one, so it's like halfway down my knee. And I think with this one, I don't know if it's also with me being tiny or short, I probably wear like heels with these, with this dress. So dress it up a little more, but overall it's really cute, fits well. Um, again, this is like a size small medium. And I definitely feel like there's plenty of space in this one. Like it's a little more loose, especially down here so I can walk. I mean, probably not run, but just normal steps. It's still stretchy enough to grow, so fits nicely. Outfit number three. This one's really cute. Um, it's definitely like a loose dress. It's not um, like the previous two that I've been showing that are like more form-fitting, slim, kind of adjust, like adjusted on your body kind of thing. This one's just a fluffy, super lightweight, nice dress. It does have a slip on the bottom, so with it being white, it's, it's not see-through. And it's off the shoulders, which I love. It has like the um, fluffed up sleeves too, so I think it's really cute. It does make me feel, I think, a little bigger, like just... I think because it's just not fitted, but um, I really like how it's just rough, like ruffled and like fluffy. It does have these little tiny like dots to add a little bit of design to the dress, but it's definitely cute, especially for a summer dress. All right, this is outfit number four, and. I'm loving it. <laughs> I think I've said that about every dress, but this one's really cute. Um, it's like a pink dress and it has this string on the bottom <laughs> that I think it's a little long though actually. It might, it might need to get like cut, um, but they might have just done it like one long one or like long so people can adjust it to their body type. But I think for me it's definitely long because it's almost touching the floor. <laughs> But um, overall, like it's a really cute dress. So this one's not off the shoulder. It's just like it still goes like right on the edge of your, right here of your shoulder. And then it has this little really cute ruffle design. And it's fitted, of course. It's still a little big on me. Um, but I think as I get bigger and of course like during summer, this would be a really cute dress. The sleeves are really cute too. They have the ruffle on the bottom and long sleeves, but they're super like thin. So it's kind of like still a good summer dress because it's still fresh and airy. But yep, so far I love all of them. I'm gonna have to say which one's my favorite. I think at the end of this video. This is outfit number five. This one's just more of a plain, I think, simple um, sleeveless dress. Um, it's 
cute. I mean, it's very just plain and simple, but it's just one of those to throw on. But honestly, trying on these dresses is making me want it to be summer already. <laughs> just feels good and fresh. But this is really cute. This one's above the knee. Um, it's still pretty stretchy, so definitely can still wear it for quite a while. And yeah, pretty simple. All right, this is outfit number six. And this one's really cute too. I feel like I have something very similar to this one um, prior to pregnancy, but it's just, um, there you go, I can zoom in, like these little floral flowers. Um, and uh, pink with some green and blue in it. So it's really cute. This one definitely is off the shoulders with the little attached sleeves. Um, this one as well, I think cause like when they're not fitted, they make you feel a little bigger, but because it just doesn't give you any shape, but still really cute. I think I definitely would wear a belt with this one. Um, I didn't have it with me right now, but I have a few maternity belts that I can put up here to kind of make it look more like the belly right there. So it's really cute. Um, it fits good too, very lightweight, um, very fresh, especially for summer. Like I mentioned, most of these I will be wearing once it starts to warm up here in El Paso, which usually is around March. So I'm excited for this one too. Definitely feel like in this one I can fit, you know, like um, as I get bigger too. So it'll be really good. The lengthwise, it's right there by my knee, so. It's pretty good length as well. I feel very comfortable in this one. And it's cute. All right, we got outfit number seven. I hope I'm not losing count. <laughs> but um, this one I love. It's just a, like a more casual, I think, dress with stripes, but super flowy and loose as well. Um, I, I actually thought this one would be a lot shorter um, when I ordered it because the picture on the girl it just seemed really short so I thought I would just wear it like a kind of like a shirt dress that I would wear shorts under but I feel like now having it on it actually feels pretty long like or like good length so I like it it's just very super summery And this is outfit number nine. This is actually like a jumpsuit, one piece, and this one actually fits a little big as well. Um, as you can see, like all these lines right here. My belly's not filling it in yet, but um, it's really comfortable, honestly. And it is long as well, since I'm a shorty and I'm only 5'2". It's a little long on the legs. But I think as I get bigger and my belly grows, I probably will fit fit better into this one. It's super comfortable, honestly, even like just to be at home for now until I fit it fit into it a little better. But I like it. Got a color gray because I feel like I get a lot of black, so changed it up a little bit. But. Yeah, def definitely you can tell this one's a little bigger on me. And this is, last but not least, outfit number 10. Um, it's just a plain white t-shirt with the slit on the side that my belly can grow and it will still fit. Thought it was really cute for summer because I can wear it with some shorts and still feel very fresh and summery as well as these leggings I got um, they're like maternity leggings and they're still a little big on me so you can tell I'm very loose right here but I know the belly will or baby bump will grow um, but I thought they're really cute they have these mesh um, 
cutouts, both sides. And what I really liked is this um, elastic band on the side, which as I get bigger, I can loosen up. Or right now that it's still kind of small, just tighten it. And it has a little button that you can attach it to. Kind of like the toddler shoes. And um, it also comes with an extra button in case this one comes off or for any reason um, gets lost. You can have an extra button. But I don't think it matters. You probably could use any button if it did happen. But that, I thought that was a nice feature. And yeah, so outfit number 10. I think that was all the outfits. I did get some extra items, which I will show you. So of course, as I was doing my order, I saw, came across these like jewelry items, which I thought were really cute. These are just some hoop earrings and some, hmm, let's see if I can get it to focus. I think it's trying, okay. So it's just a butterfly stud there as well, so I can wear both. Um, which I thought was cute and I'm pretty sure these were like one or two dollars super cheap and this is just a gold bracelet there we go a gold bracelet I bought and this phone case that was really cute for summer so I ordered this one and got myself a little inklet. Oops. Oh, right. Sorry. Err, nope. Okay. A butterfly inklet there, which also was probably like a dollar. And then what I have on my phone now, this phone case, which was like, I think, $2. Oops, but yeah, so far so good. It's been protecting my phone very nicely. All right, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. And I hope this video was helpful if you're on the search for maternity clothing. Honestly, all of them were really like well fitting, um, especially if with the baby bump, your belly's obviously gonna keep growing. So it had plenty of room to grow and they all felt good um, fabric wise, material wise, well made. So I honestly recommend all of them. I think if I had to vote, my favorite, favorite one would be if I remember correctly, outfit number four, which was the pink ruffle dress. I really liked that one. I thought it was super cute and flattering. So yeah, you guys, hope you guys enjoy this video and hope to see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.